there welcome in to sage centered healing tarot thank you for being here and i really do hope you're doing well in this time we're going to take some general messages for you because they're general messages they may not all apply to all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest you let them fly so thank you for liking the video also for sharing the messages with those you love so hit the share button share to your whatsapp facebook social media groups if the messages inspire you and you want to share that and thank you for subscribing so the energy of today is rootedness and family family creation the tree of life and the source of healing and well-being aligning with your spirits your ancestors your guides knowing what you want dreaming again and starting over maybe you don't know where you're gonna go yet because you're just dreaming again so yeah I feel like you're becoming more self-aware because your friend is like you're re-family family familying yourself <laughs> you're finding your new family um so that could be your spiritual family I feel like that you know maybe you're not speaking a lot right now people are really like on lockdown right now like thinking who they are who am I who am I who am I who am I the nine you know people are on lockdown because or people are some people are on you know lockdown emotionally too people feel i hear wicked people feel lost in their hearts People feel sad and alone and then when they're ready they go take up their phone and they try to find some juice in there and it, I don't know. the eight of swords is also awareness of self the nine of swords is, ac is acceptance is becoming being represented as who you are it's also prayer. I'm trying to just give you all the little information so you know. Praying, hoping. The Nine of Swords is you. This is the bed you made, so you lie in it. It is the outcome. So I feel like the collective energy of humanity may be lying in bed that they made. You know, Four of Swords. <laughs> yeah. We made this bed. Um, there are many people praying and hoping. Some people have given up, giving, given up. Some people are relaxing. Some people are meditating. But the world today feels kind of quiet or focused, determined, or spiritually based. I feel especially as people re-familiarize with themselves. Like, I feel like people are waking up, looking at their the family that they grew up in, and they're thinking, this is not my family. And they're learning how to find their true soul, spiritual family. People could be disappointed with, the, with their family, people in their family right now. So a lot of family energy and spiritual energy right now. You could give more. Tune into your Christ's your sun energy forgiveness and be forgiven so these are brighter days ahead because i feel one person really stepping out and smiling a lot being thankful being grateful this person could be very influential this could be christ represented inside and out It's just that I don't know why this person is so happy. Because <laughs> I know that they have found the light, which could be the truth. Because when you forgive, it's, it's, it, it's, it makes you light. But forgiveness is also truth because you become aware. Forgiveness comes through awareness also. Because you realize hurt people hurt people stuff like that so you see the bigger picture you become the bigger person you heal yourself you love yourself you forgive yourself and you start forgiving others so i feel like this time we spend oops i almost shuffled i almost shuffled the cards i probably shuffled already you know i probably shuffled the cards already and i haven't laid them out properly um 
and we have the ten of swords coming up which is another sword so we have eight nine ten which is good it's progress for humanity i feel this is the highest of our vibration that we can come to today is to give and to be light be the sun and to be happy and to be thankful even among those that are suffering it helps us to see the light the dawn breaking the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak when we're going through our last there's still a light being shun this is the only red on the table the light this is the highest you can attain for to be that light for people to see at the end of the tunnel that they don't have to give up or anything like that the ten of swords it's like deadly it's like a lot of betrayal